that's it. They sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Barry is right there shortly after the start. Astroman's a little bit strong. Tom Ivers, Gurkha Chief overcoming the draw. The Lonsdale has the white cap. They're tracing about three lengths off the leader. Then comes Strike Gold. Argo Centers caught the widest all. A number of fighters. Long walk one of those. Then we drop back to West Coast Man. They stretched out about eight or nine lanes. They now move towards the 600 meter marker. And the leader is Gurkha Chief. Back in second is Tom Ivers. Argo centers on the outside of that. The Lonsdale has the white cap for Aries near the rail. Tani on the inside. Astromans getting the wake up call. And on the outside of that, Strike Gold. Top of the lane, 400 meters to go. Gurkha Chief, the leader for Ari, moves in. The Lonsdale, Tom Ivers on the outside as they come down to the 300. And Tom Ivers, the leader, Gurkha Chief. The Lonsdale is down the inside towards the outside as Long Walk. But Tom Ivers still the leader. The Lonsdale tries to close it down though. And Tom Ivers still goes though. And it's going to be Tom Ivers from the Lonsdale. Tom Ivers won it to Lonsdale second. Third win to Long Walk and for Ari. Well, the winner is for number six, Tom Ivers. Look at the tote dividend. 73 rand a win, 9 rand 60 a place, 429 days off the track. And Tom Ivers for Frank Robinson, Billy Jacobson. Second to number one, the Lonsdale, which was the tote favourite. Third position to Long Walk, who was fighting. Stays on nicely for Ari is further back. Then Gurkha Chief. Astroman, the stable companion of the winner. Also for Frank Robinson. Also a long absence. Further back in the running. We find Tani and then Argo Centaur. Roy's Rebels just in front of those two. As they continue to run it. The first leg of the place accumulator. And then further back in the running is Strike Gold. So Tom Ivers and Gurkha Chief close together. But Tom Ivers in the red silks. And then the white cap, two off the left-hand side, is the Lonsdale, who's now throwing out that challenge. But there's still about a half length in it at the business end. And Tom Ivers is victorious from the Lonsdale. Long Walker staying on on the outside. A number of runners like Astroman's going to come on with the outing. But victory is for Tom Ivers. Until the running of our fourth race. The fourth race is the start of the pick six. It's on the poly over 1200. Back to the studio. Big results for that win dividend. Number six, Tom Ivers has come through for trainer Frank Robertson. Been off the track for 429 days. Well done to owner Stephen Chetty. And uh, of course, uh, Frank also in partnership with the son of Argonaut. Surprise? I was a bit. Uh, he's also got a lot of ability, but I just thought he may need the run, you know. He'd done a bad injury behind. Uh, he actually pulled the ligament off his hip. And uh, it was touch and go at one stage, and the, and the vets actually advised me to retire him. So he, I left him in the stable actually for about eight months. He stayed in the stable. He's come back, and he's he's always been a horse with ability. That's why I've held on to him. S Stephen is on a, uh, a few horses uh, with you in your yard, whether it's in partnership or on his own. So he's been a good supporter, Frank. Oh, definitely. Stephen's been a soldier. You know, me and him are partners in quite a lot of the horses actually. Um, so good luck to Stephen as well. I, th I said to him, should I think you'll need a run tonight, but I said it is a bad field, so you never know. But the opti had something else on, so good luck to him. Comment on your, your other runner that was more fancy than the betting Astro Man? Uh, I spoke to Bernard now. He said he was fighting in the, for the first bet. He was throwing his head up all the time, and then he said he made a bit of a gurgly noise. He probably got, it, got his epiglottis and trapped, you know, with that pulling luck. And I'll put a tongue tie, and I think I'll drop him down to a thousand. Well done here, Frank. Thanks very much.
Well done to uh, trainer Frank Robinson. Billy Jacobson, well, he's getting a few more chances and he's taking it with both hands. Well done to you, Billy. Thank you very much, Deeds. Big how, how, how did things work out for you? Because this, this horse, you know, he, he was coming off a lengthy break. Any uh, instructions? Yes, uh, Frank gave me great instructions. He said, uh, bounce it out. If it's up there, if, even if it wants to go to the front, let it go. I caught a nice lead, nice and relaxed, actually. Um, in the top of the straights, I thought I've definitely got a big shot here. Moved up well and kept on going strong. That, that was the trick, you know, when you pinched the lead, you were difficult to catch. Yes, uh, skipped away at the right time. Well, well done, a nice ride. And as I mentioned, you know, the more chances you get, the more you grow in confidence. So hopefully, uh, you know, other trainers uh, take note. Yes, great, thanks. And um, big thanks to Frank. Um, in the parade ring, he said to me, the source, he wouldn't be surprised if it wins. Um, so big thanks to him for putting me on. Well done, Billy. Thank you. Lovely. Billy Jacobson and uh, Frank Robinson here with number six, Tom Ivers. Six. One, three, and eight in a quartet that has paid well over 8,000 rand. Six, one, three, and ten, I'm told, by the best cameraman on course, who is Zane. Now, coming up next will be race number four, and this will be the start of the pick six. And that pick six pool is uh, going uh, to uh, reach around 750,000 Rand the last time I looked. So that will be climbing all the while and 18.45 will be the time to jot down. We'll break and we'll come back for one of our lucky draws this evening and that's regarding betting vouchers sponsored by Gold Circle.